But it's like people think I wear crazy glasses still, you know. They're quite normal tonight. Yeah, they are normal. <laughs> I, am. I bought them in a proper store. You look relatively normal. If you took relative, away the, the silver normal, trousers, yes, you'd yes. be quite normal. I do have a G-string on them. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little peek at your rider, your list of demands for your dressing room. Oh, really? Which was fascinating. I have to say, apparently, because it's winter, the temperature in your dressing room had to be 68 degrees Fahrenheit precisely. I have no idea what my rider is. <laughs> I honestly don't. Was it warm enough? It was fine. It was a bit chilly, actually. <laughs> but 68 degrees is a bit chilly. It's a little bit chilly. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, it gets better. Four large green plants. Well, large green, well, you have to have green plants, so. <laughs> Three six-foot-long banquet tables covered in white linen tablecloths. Well, they're not in my dressing room. Were you having a banquet in there today? I don't have any six-foot tables <laughs> in my room. No. <laughs> Most amusingly, I thought, was you requested one large flower arrangement, nothing wrong with that, but you stipulate no chrysanthemums, no lilies, no carnations, and definitely no daisies. Now, what have you got against that lot? Well, chrysanthemums are pretty horrible. <laughs> Carnations don't look good in a vase. Um, lilies don't smell very nice. And daisies, I have nothing against whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daisies, great yeah. art, great photographs. Yeah. They're an investment. I I'm talking about the day you went to Versace and apparently spent over £250,000 in one spree. I have no guilt, Piers. I, I own the money. I pay my taxes. I've never lived anywhere else but Britain. I can do what if I want to buy... I mean, buy that it. is true. I mean, you do I don't, pay I don't, taxes. I, you know, why can't I? It goes back into the economy. What's the, what's the problem? <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> what's, the, what's the single item you've bought in your life that's brought you the most happiness? Vibrator, definitely. <laughs> A gold one. A gold one. <laughs> I'm told you once asked a member of a, a staff at a hotel, in all seriousness, to stop it being so windy outside. No, I didn't ask. It was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been up all night on cocaine, and I phoned Robert Key, who um, worked for me and became the head of my AIDS foundation. Um, and I phoned him up at 11 in the morning. I said, Robert. It's really windy here. Can you do something about it? <laughs> and there was a kind of silence on the end of the phone. And Robert later told me he put the phone down and went, she's finally lost it. <laughs> <laughs> she's finally lost the plot. It's too windy. Um...